guys welcome to boxing block center the home of nigerian african boxing and please if you're new to this channel make sure you click the like and of course the subscribe button right now and also go to the notification bell icon click it and select all let our opinion bangle a new exclusivity you will definitely be notified so let's get straight to right here with our station team dubois are desperate to fight anthony joshua i listened to the recent interview by don charles you know talk sport interview don charles big ups to talk sport even though i know they are no friends of anthony joshua on that platform but they do a good job for the for, for boxing and for sports in general and um, yeah i will i will talk about why joshua don't give talk sport ifl tv and other british major british media platforms interviews anymore like he used to who we'll know who we'll dive into that on another video but let's talk about this right here so team dubois are desperate for anti joshua payday joshua remains the big the biggest name in in british boxing the cash cow of the heavyweight division Usyk is the undisputed the current undisputed champion but Usyk is not a cash cow Usyk doesn't bring the money to the table Usyk is not a big draw Usyk cannot sell out can sell out a stadium in his country but wouldn't make up to 50 million in his country fighting but and I'm saying this with or without war I'm saying this with or without war in in or in the Ukraine. Even if there was no war with Russia, he still would be able to do that. He just doesn't have that aura in him. And also because it, the language barrier, Usyk style is a boxing style. If you want to appeal the casuals, you have to be a knockout artist. You have to be a monster. You have to be a guy that destroys everyone. Known for that power. This is how. Muhammad Ali became who he is. Of course, Muhammad Ali was a knockout artist as well, but was more known for his boxing skills. You know, why Mike Tyson was known as a killer busy in the ring. He was a destroyer. So, being a knockout artist gets you far compared to being just a boxer. But Ali was a different breed compared to any boxer. You know, current or former. Um, because Ali fought a battle outside the ring that a lot of boxers wouldn't dare. Even a lot of sports people today don't, wouldn't dare do that. Ali was an unspoken person and he basically inspired a whole generation of oppressed people you know what i mean the song ali bumaye is still today relevant and and it will forever be relevant ali was born with a different gift when i look at joshua i see some shades of ali of course joshua is not as spoken as ali and can never be it's a different environment at the time Joshua wanted to be outspoken a little bit, the the British uh, public got on his back and you know the racism in Britain is very, very visible. Sometimes he's eating but once you say something they don't like, the media pounds on you, the people pounce on you and they remind you of where you're from or of your origin and stuff like that. And despite Britain basically colonizing the, almost half of the world and destroying countries and institutions stealing resources stealing people as well all those things happen and we still don't forget we don't know the history we don't forget you know maybe some people have forgot i don't forget you have to teach history so that people will learn and learn to be humble as well now let's get to this right here team dubois are very desperate for the joshua payday <laughs> I love in Vietnamese. So Frank Warren yesterday was saying, yeah, who else is just gonna fight? Yeah. Frank Warren 
I think is a biased promoter in my opinion. Frank was very Frank Warren was very biased when Dubois fought uh Joe Joyce. He basically supported Dubois to beat Joe Joyce. He didn't say it, but his body language, you could tell. He wanted Dubois to win. He saw Dubois as the next Anthony Joshua. He wanted Dubois to be as big as Joshua. But Dubois is still nowhere near the level of Joshua in popularity, in resume, in anything. Because Dubois' name was built off the sparring with Anthony Joshua. I remember Ron Warren being the first guy to literally reveal it during during the time they already signed Joshua uh, they signed Dubois and say, yeah, he, we heard he had a, uh, a good sparring with Joshua. Basically, beauty. <laughs> Dubois name of Joshua but that still didn't make sense. Dubois following is still not, is still not as close as uh, I mean Joshua has more likes than Joshua has more likes in the post than Dubois has followers and Joshua has more steel more endorsement than the whole of uh, Queensbury promotion. It's facts. So Frank Warren wants to create an Anthony Joshua in Dubois, but it's not the same. Even Fury, as big as Fury is, is still not close to the level of Joshua. Joshua is just blessed to be in that position, and you have to understand what Joshua did to get there. Joshua had to sacrifice a lot to get there, becoming an Olympic gold medalist. Not just that, winning the ABAs, fighting around the globe, building his brand. So just be yourself, and Joshua was very humble he didn't come into the game claiming to have knocked out everybody inspiring or beat up people inspiring to say yeah i'm the real one i know joshua always stay stayed humble the boy is not humble it's just fact so well, let, let's listen to uh don charles uh interview with um uh, talksboard and also from quarren as well and you remember uh, at the hearing, give a response saying Joshua wants to become a three time heavyweight world champion. Okay. Ron Quarren is playing a certain game that I don't understand right now. So, you don't want, you want the, all the belts to be on the line for Fury Usyk 2. But you want Dubai to fight Joshua. But. Joshua wants to become undisputed. Uh, wants to become a three-time everywhere champion and then undisputed. You don't want the belt to be on the line. You are not fighting for the belt to be on the line for that because Fury is your man. Is your main man basically. Fury is number one for Frank Warren. Dubois comes two or three because Anthony Yard is currently having a problem with uh, Frank Warren. I think he doesn't want to be with uh, Queensbury anymore. Something he wants to be. He wants to be a free agent. And then he's seen the writing on the wall. And that is why with Dubois, Frank Warren would, would make more money if Dubois fights Anthony Joshua than he would if Jiang, Jiang or Parker fight Joshua. Because Jiang has a manager, a pro, I think he has a promoter in China as well. So it's like, a, you know, you have to cut the share basically. So Frank Warren is a fan, bro. I know promoters love money, but damn. Let's listen, guys. So I think that enough's enough. Uh, we got a question uh, for Don as well, but before we get to that, because it does involve uh, Daniel Dubois' potential next opponent, let's hear from his promoter, Frank Warren, uh, in terms of whether there could be a clash to come between Anthony Joshua and Dubois. We would love it to be in the UK. They're two Brits. It would be a great fight to put on at Wembley. And uh, we have we do have a press conference later this month, later on this month, and hopefully then we can uh, make some announcements. But AJ was ringside. I was sitting next to him. In fact, I said to him, "Right, come on, let's get this on." And uh, you know, we've got we've got discussions going on. So hopefully we can get it over the line. There you go. That's uh, Frank's Frank Warren's take on it. Let's hear from uh, the other side of the camp. Eddie Hearn. He says Joshua's next opponent isn't decided, but did confirm that Dubois is very much in the mix. His Excellency would like AJ to headline at Wembley, um, an all-British fight for the World Heavyweight Championship would definitely be a massive event at Wembley, but no decision's been made yet, and we'll talk with AJ, we'll talk with His Excellency, 
um, and we'll see what's next. But you know, the, the focus for Anthony is to regain his World Heavyweight Championship. We know that that IBF belt, well, Daniel is now the interim championship champion. It's very likely that that belt would become available. And if it is, and AJ has a chance to win it, that would definitely appeal to him. Don Charles listening intently there to both Frank Warren uh, and indeed uh, Eddie Hearn. Right smile on his face as, as Eddie was speaking. So what's your, uh, what's your view on what could be next for your fighter? Um, basically, first and foremost, we had to go and win the fight last Saturday, which we did. Um, so we're ecstatic, the whole team, the family. And um, obviously, you heard from the promoters and that's the situation that is very unclear at the moment. But the rightful thing that should happen is for uh, Daniel being the mandatory now in that position. AJ wants to become a three-time world champion. What a better time for him. I, they shouldn't even consider the other options. Yeah. Who, who are I understand what, Char uh, what Don Charles is saying. That, yes, he's acknowledging that Joshua wants to become a three-time world champion. So... Joshua fighting Dubois for no belt doesn't do anything for Joshua because if Joshua knocks Dubois out, which he would, then people will say, yeah, Dubois quit twi uh, twice before, you know, he had the resurgence against uh, Agovich and Miller and stuff like that, but Joshua was supposed to be beat, beat him, you know. But if there's something on the line, the belt on the line, at least Joshua will have something to gain and a legacy to cement but without that i don't think joshua should fight dubois there is no gain in it jang remember his excellency togarashi said that <clears throat> the winner of jang water but he expected water to beat jang and jang uh, joshua water would have been for wembley be at wembley basically because right now we know that the since Queensberry has, you know, they they have the two the, the the two fighters who are basically desperate to get their hands on the belts. Okay, Fury wants to become undisputed. He wants to get his hands on that belt, those belts, or the four belts. You know, I don't think Fury will be motivated to fight for just a unified belt, like just for the for the three belts instead of four. Why Dubois wants to become a world, a world champion. But I feel Dubois can wait. But Joshua, what does it do for Joshua? Nothing. Don Charles, you're a Nigerian. I, I understand that. But uh, I know that you trained Joshua in the past. You know a lot about Joshua. In fact, you know a lot about the come up with Joshua. But come on. Does it make sense? Would you have to fight Dubois? with nothing to gain? No, it doesn't. Who are the options, Spencer? The, I uh, think Zhele Zhang and Joseph and Parker. Jo right. He, AJ has beaten Joseph Parker. Okay. Zhele Zhang doesn't bring anything to the British audience in terms of this is a, a British fight against two British fighters. So it's a non-brainer not to make that happen. That's the most obvious thing to happen. Do not so, deny. So, so Don Charles is basically leading and begging Joshua to take the Dubois fight for the British boxing fan's sake. Bro, Joshua can fight anyone. You guys are forgetting that Joshua is the draw right here, not Dubois. Dubois is not a name. He's not a draw. If Dubois beats Joshua, he becomes bigger than he ever was, right? So, Joshua fights Dubois for nothing to gain and then Joshua, for example, loses and then Joshua goes way down and Dubois goes way up. And then, no, man, it doesn't make sense. Joshua has to fight for something. Same as when Klitschko faced Joshua, the vacant WBO title was on the line. So Joshua had his, the IBF and went for the vacant WBO title. That, this is why Joshua had a lot, uh, a lot to gain that fight, not a lot to lose. You know, I think Joshua lost that fight against Klitschko then, I believe Joshua would have come back, but it would have been a little bit harder in a way. But instead, Joshua, the belt being on the line gave Joshua more motivation to to, like, to win that fight. 
But Joshua's dream has always been to unify all the belts. Four belts. He unified the WBA with Klitschko, beat Parker to get the WBO, and what the hell the other belt, the WBC, which we know should have, should have been easy, an easy fight to make. But there were egos on both sides. Team Water, most especially, wanted things to be on their terms. And now you see what is going on with Water right now. It is a sad situation. Joshua is still the last man standing. Out of all, because I remember how Fury and Wilder colluded to freeze Joshua out. That was the game plan. Wilder made a big mistake trusting Tyson Fury. You can never trust a guy that calls himself a Gypsy King. But Gypsies comes from different, different um, origins. Different Gypsies have different origins. You have the Romanian Gypsy. You have the Dutch Gypsies. You have the the Irish gypsies, you have the Spanish gypsies, the French. They are not the same. They might be gypsies, but they practice different things. They they are they are various various types of gypsies. You have to know that. Anyways, this is not a history lesson, but I'm saying that for Joshua to fight Dubois, he has to be gaining something. There has to be a motivation. To say I'm fighting this guy, I know I'm gonna beat him, but I have to gain something. Because Joshua beats Dubois, he fights Dubois without a without a belt, he beats Dubois. What does he gain? Nothing. Dubois, it's not like Dubois is undefeated right now. Dubois is undefeated. He quit twice against Joe Joyce and Usyk. So if it, when he beats Dubois and Dubois quit again, there's nothing to the game, bro. Is is it, it, it doesn't have anything to the resume. Just facts. Uh, this is going out to AJ and uh, and uh, Eddie Hunt. It's not complicated. Do not deny the British public of what will be uh, uh, a massive, massive uh, uh, fight for British in Wembley. Come on, it's got to be two British fighters, and we are in the position to. If we weren't in that position, then they could say, "Oh, you're not, you're not in that position to do so." But we are a front runner. Let's not forget it. What the young man did last Saturday, he became. It wasn't meant to happen, but it happened. Thought we dethroned the guy who was actually mandatory in the name of Philip Hergovich. That's enough to confirm his position. So come on, AJ. Come on, AD. Stop playing silly buggers, yeah? Get on with it. The most obvious thing to do is to bring that fight to Wembley for the British audience. They deserve it. Spencer, but, I'll put this to you because yeah. uh, Gav has texted 8 to 89. He says, uh, I want any British boxer to do well, but Dubois has no chance against Joshua. There's a huge gap between the top three in the heavyweight division and the rest. Daniel is too easy to hit, and I believe he'll get knocked out. I think that a lot of people said that when he was boxing Philip Hergovich as well. What you got? Yeah, man, listen. I think Dubois is not an easy work for anybody. Dubois is not an easy work for anybody. He is always going to bring bring his A game and stuff like that, but... Will it be enough to beat Andrew Joshua? Well, I don't think so. But my argument is that Don Charles, it is quite obvious he wants Dubois to be the guy. He's man, basically. Dubois is his man. He wants him to be his ne Joshua's next opponent at Wembley. And he's saying, yeah, bring the fight to the British boxing fans. The British boxing fans are not clamoring for Dubois Joshua. They would be if the IBF is on the line. Joshua have to make a business decision first. Joshua beating Zhang would do more for his resume than beating Dubois, who already quit twice. Let's keep it right here, bro. So, I like Dubois. I mean, not as a person because he talked shit about Jojo's mom. I still don't forget how he mocked Jojo's mom. When you mock a Nigerian, uh, Nigerian mom like that, I don't have, I don't respect people that uh, kids. That's like Dubai is a kid, he's a child. I don't respect kids that mock elderly people, you know. And it tends to happen in the Western world a lot, where they don't have respect for 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 elders anymore, bro, or for people with um with uh, difficult. So I don't like Dubai as a person. As a fighter, he's okay. He's an okay fighter. I don't like him as a as a person because he he mocked Jojo's mom and he got death by Jojo's. 
Yes, it will hap is what happens. Karma got got him. Now, Don Charles, you should talk to Frank Warren to make sure that IBF strap is on the line. Usyk should be stripped of that strap. Usyk is saying that he wants to move down to cruiserweight after the Fury fight. Nice. So strip him of that IBF. Then if Fury beats Usyk, then the, the then reunify with Anthony Joshua or Dubois. You know, but I think I believe Joshua beats Dubois. What do you guys make of this right here? Dubois team desperate for a payday, man. Joshua is a Joshua is the money man, the landlord, bro. That if you fight this guy, you become rich forever. Look at Andrews Jr. for example. He fought Joshua, and his life never remained the same. He is a multi-millionaire because of Anthony Joshua. Andrews Jr. is the is a name now because of Joshua. Because prior to fighting him fighting Joshua, nobody talked about Andrews Jr. bro. No one. Nobody even mentioned his name. He wasn't. It was nowhere like to be to be to be found in terms of, in the, in the, in the, he was not in the lips of boxing fans at all. Art Cause might have talked about him a little bit, but he wasn't on the radar. Joshua put Andrews Jr. on the map. Put all these fighters on the map. But is the money man. Little guys, we must go back. God bless you all. And, uh, cheers.